open-faced, safe, and retro stylish, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Shoei J.O. So retro-inspired, open-faced helmets have really benefited from recent years' uh, advancements and improvements in safety. Gone are those old buckets that your dad used to wear 30, 40 years ago, which looked cool but didn't offer much more protection than a real bucket does. Uh, so instead we get something like this, the Shoei J.O. It's going to not only look the part of those retro cool helmets, but it's also going to give you the modern day safety, which we've all come to uh, love and I think appreciate. So the Shoei J.O. is going to be an open-faced premium helmet. It's going to come in at about 380 US dollars at the recommended retail price as well for something like this, which is a matte black color. Guys, if you want to have a chat with me, you want to learn more about the best products and get to have any of your questions answered in real time, then come and join us in our live store. So the live store is open every Wednesday and you can learn more at championhelmets.com slash live store. So back to the Shoei J.O. and we'll start having a look at the shell. So the shell material is going to be Shoei's AIM material, the Advanced Integrated Matrix. Uh, multiple materials, mostly fiberglass, stacked up in layers. So it's going to be a strong and lightweight shell. And uh, this shell is going to be available in three different sizes as well. Now I have weighed this helmet in the size L and it came in at 1050 grams on our scales, which is a pretty good weight, uh, quite light. And I think that's largely thanks to uh, it lacking a chin bar. So ventilation on the J.O. is great. You don't have a chin bar, you don't have a seal for the visor, so it lets all that air in. Uh, there's a little bit of channeling in the EPS as well, which I'll show you a little bit later on, but essentially there's not really any ventilation for this helmet per se. So now what I'll do is I'll show you how to uh, remove the visor. First I'll drop it down for you so you can see it. Uh, the visor is fairly decent. You can adjust how far it drops with these toggles on the side. There's one on each, you have to match them up. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. So what we'll do now is I'll show you how to take this off. First of all, when it's up, get those toggles, take them to the lowest point possible so that they kind of uh, stand out a little bit of the grooves. Then drop this down as far as it will, and you're going to need a tool. So I have here a screwdriver, thin screwdriver, and a microfiber cloth. Uh, sorry, just a cloth. Take this, cover your screwdriver because we're going to have to uh, pry these little pins out of these little uh, sockets there. So you can scratch up your, sh your visor or your shell. Don't do that. Cover your tool. I'm also going to take this just to give me a little bit more stability. So I'll show you how to do this. First of all, we're going to take our tool, which is covered and safe. So it's not going to damage anything. I'm going to get it in, get it underneath that, and we're going to lift it up and then pull it out just like that. Nice and easy. Remember as well, make sure your tool is covered, don't scratch your visor. So same on this side, get it in there, pry it up, and then once we have it in, we can just pull it all out. There we go, slowly, there it is. So guys, that's the visor. Scratch free because we covered the tool. Uh, putting it back in very easy, so I'll show you how to do that now. Uh, basically, you just push it back on. So you see the two, uh, like the little slot that the tab comes out of. So I'm just going to put that in, line it up, push it on, put it in, line it up, and push it on. Then, of course, we have to reseat these grooves. So just make sure that they click on to whatever setting you prefer, and that's the visor. So it's not too hard. Uh, it's a little bit different than what we typically see with other shoey helmets, but you can do it. So now it's time to pull the liner out. Grab this back, put the helmet up. Uh, the liner comes out in three pieces. It's actually pretty easy to take out and to put back on. It's pretty comfortable, pretty soft material, and it's going to be uh, washable as well. It's also going to have channeling so that if you're riding with glasses, it's not going to be uncomfortable. So let's start with that. First of all, cheek pads. Nice, cute little things. Then the other one comes out nice and easily. Uh, no emergency quick release. Don't know if it's really needed. Uh, and then at the back, we have, of course, standard kind of stuff. And then here as well, we just have to kind of lift this up. And out it comes. 
So, standard shoey kind of liner. Um, quality, nothing is out of place, really. Onto the inside, you can see some of that channeling in that EPS, and it's not going to be a whole lot. Like I said, there's a couple holes up top, which is going to let some air uh, into the helmet, and then it's going to escape out the bottom. But like, not, not a whole lot of channeling, not a whole lot going on in the inside of the EPS. Uh, basically, it's got good quality, it's got a good finish, it's what we expect from Shoei. So just to round out the last couple of things, at the bottom, double D enclosure ring, standard uh, kind of classic uh, enclosure system. At the back, we of course do have this here, which is going to help you uh, to keep your goggles in place. So if you uh, run that strap through there, close it up, keep your goggles on there, don't have to worry about them getting left behind in the dust. And because this is a retro inspired helmet, there's plenty of retro uh, designs that Shui have. So you can check them all out. There's plenty of different colors and all that. And you should be able to find something that uh, tickles your fancy. So at Champion Helmets, you can pick up the Shui J-O, and in the product bundles, you can pick up a free visor in the color of your choice as well. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. So this has been our review of the Shui J-O, a retro-inspired but modern-day safe helmet. And if you want to learn anything more about the J-O, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, and that way we'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm Grace from Champion Helmets. I'll see you all next time.